I'm going to demonstrate now how waves are generated in a wave flume. I'll put in first a single frequency wave of frequency 1 hertz, that is I'll move the paddle at a rate of one cycle a second. Now the paddle's moving now, you'll see it actually takes a few seconds for the waves to move down the flume and reach me here at this point. And the speed at which this group is moving down the flume is referred to as the group velocity. Now waves have reached me now and if you fix your eye on the crest of one of the waves and look how quickly this is moving, the speed of the crest of the wave is referred to as the wave celerity. Now actually in the deep ocean the group velocity is only equal to half of the celerity. Now I'll just stop that now and I'll put in um, a range of waves. In the real sea you've got a whole range of different frequencies. So the high frequencies have a relatively short wavelength and these actually move quite slowly. The lower frequencies have a longer wavelength and move much more quickly. And if we superimpose um, a pattern of frequencies, then we get a realistic C condition. The pattern I've put in here is referred to as a John swap spectrum. I could have put in another pattern for example, I could have put in a pearson moscovitz spectrum. Now, again, in the real sea, you often get breaking waves. And again, I can illustrate that here. If we start the paddle moving quite quickly, then these high frequency waves will move quite slowly down the tank and once the paddle has been moving for a little bit we'll slow it down to generate these longer faster moving waves and um, this has been programmed here so that these waves all catch up at a point which is just in front of me here and the wave becomes so high at this point that it'll topple over and break. There we are, you've got a, a breaker at this position.